This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another video and today, Super 7 Alligaticon. I'm pretty sure that Bumblebee called it the Alligatorcon. The Alligatorcon! So I'll uh, check the, uh, you know, when I do my little video insert, I'll check and either prove myself right or wrong. I'm usually right. Just, you know, this is off my wife because I'm usually right. So anyway, this is a great set. Uh, it's uh, it's already open, you know me. Uh, but uh, here's the box, it looks great. And then I'm gonna show you the figure. But before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles where I actually got this uh, bad boy, which I ordered in April of 2022. So Super 7, uh, early pre-orders, sure, but a year and a half in advance, not again. It took a while. So now I'll wait for stuff to be in stock, or hopefully Super 7 is better now at uh, their pre-order. So check out DJC Collectibles, where at the end of this video, you can get your 10% uh, discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. out of the box this is what you get you get the Optimus Prime head which um, I've seen a, a guy online he posted on one of my picture where he had uh, took a you know a little wire and put it uh, upside down in one of his Megatron hand and I thought that was really well done so yeah Optimus Prime with no uh, is that no there's no light piping for this uh, it's just uh, hollow eyes because he's dead. Thanks, Ratchet. Hook disassembled me, but he wasn't very neat. Or dying. Actually, no, not dying at all. He's in croc. Uh, this is probably the best uh, G1 style gun I've seen since 1984. Uh, it's a bit dirty here, uh, probably because of the sprues. Uh, but it looks really good. And uh, it, they kept this, like this is the handle. Usually on the G1 gun you had uh, this part that prevented you from putting the gun in uh, Prime's hand properly. Because you had like another uh, port here. Uh, but this looks real good. And it goes into this hand, which comes with the Empire State Building. Which numerous people have asked me if this was a Dalek from Doctor Who. Decepticon Dalek. Uh, no, it's not. Um, I think I was being trolled though. But yeah, so you have, and you can put the gun in, uh, there's a, uh, a trigger finger, so there you go. And believe it or not, this is articulated. So you do have a full rotation, uh, it extends, uh, it, and then it goes up and down like this. And uh, actually, if you play with it too much, you cannot pop off the mechanism here. You do have an elbow band. And you have a, uh, well, yeah, you do have a rotation uh, here and a rotation at the hand. So this, oh, and the hand also goes up and down. So overall, this is probably the best articulated arm I have in my collection. Which is kind of sad, but it, it works. It, it looks good. It looks the part and it kind of looks, I think though in the show, uh, well, let's take a look at the clip to see if it's placed properly. Now, you have the cab, which I think that's a cool addition. A uh, little taxi with the uh, control drone, I guess, or the camera to see uh, the uh, Autobots. That's a nice addition. They didn't have to do that, but it really completes the episode. So, yeah, kudos. I like this. Uh, it doesn't really scale with mainline though, like it's way too small. Uh, but if you have legend scales figures, um, that could work. That could be a good display. More Constructicon handiwork coming up. Except this guy is like masterpiece scale. It's huge and I really dig it. I've been wanting that crocodile since I was six or seven and I really like it. Uh, a couple things that don't, <laughs> it's, 
I guess it's just animation error that they uh, reproduce properly. It's basically, they used, you know, blue parts of Optimus, and then you have the cab here. So you have a window on each side, and then you have, you know, white, and then the, the gray for the head. Uh, nicely, uh, you know, added details. That's uh, very accurate. Uh, and it's really fun, except you have two smokestacks here, but you do still have one smokestack there. So three smokestacks for Prime. Uh, so, cause I always figured that they use like, you know, one arm to do both legs. Uh, so articulation, you do have quite a bit. You have a rotation, uh, at each part of detail. So you can move it left and right up and down on each part. Uh, actually you have a 360 on this one. This, I wouldn't move it because of the stack, but you have a up and down. But you could rotate it if you wanted to. You have the rotation here. And then you have the, oops, sorry, the up and down. You do have uh, knee bends, except it's very, very, very tight. So be careful. You have a uh, full rotation underneath here. You have an up and down. And then you have your full, except you see here, it's going to hit. So I'm going to flip it back because I don't want paint scratching off. And then you have a full rotation of the body if you want to. And then you have a bit of a up and down like, well, it's more like a tilt. But you do have a left and right as well. Uh, and then for the hands, same thing. You have a knee, well, elbow. And it's super tight, so I'm not moving this. And then you have a full rotation of the paw. You have a tilt. So you can pose it you know limitedly but it still works uh you have a head rotation you have a down and a up it's really tight be careful and then you have the maw that opens like this or the jaw sorry and a bit of a left and right at the head or maybe it's just loose hard to tell i love this set i just want to do a couple uh, size comparison this alligator is big and heavy! From the looks of it, I'd say a little of both. Bumblebee? So I think for this, it kind of scales well. You know, it, it Bumblebee could be a little shorter, but it's it's not bad. Earthrise Optimus Prime, uh, and I think, again, uh, you know, scaling is uh, pretty good. I think the, the alligator should be uh, big, the bigger if you want to have it with uh, the main line. I mean, that's the thing. This is Super 7 line. So if you have the Super 7 Transformers, I guess it fits with everything. But uh, for the main line stuff, eh, it doesn't fit that well. And let's go with Slag from the Studio Series 86 line. And uh, yeah, a Triceratop would definitely be bigger than a Crocodile. Yeah! So overall, I mean, I've waited since April 2022. Uh, a guy posted that on a, he pre-ordered this in December 2021. So Super 7, man, your pre-order has to be within six months max now, please. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I like the quality of this figure. I like the colors of this figure. It's mostly colored plastic. There's few paint application, uh, the eyes. But this is all, well, I guess this is painted. Uh, maybe the... Uh, because it's, it's scratching off a little bit here, so I guess that's painted, but colored plastic, most part, paint here, so, you know. Uh, the cab is, uh, you know, painted windows and everything, so. It's uh, it's a good set, it's fun. It's a, really, it's a display piece. Uh, it's for the very specific uh, people that really enjoyed that episode, uh, like my uh, kid self. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment, love reading those. Keep coming back after I'm on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.